where God is, it's holy ground. Thank you. All right. Okay. We have people come here that really bring spirituality to us because they have only spirituality in their life. They have nothing. Okay, so then we have to recognize and be aware of God's presence among us at all times. And if we are, then we see why the good is occurring in our facility. The blessed, blessed place from Jesus. I come to Seton Center because I run out of food after I pay rent and utilities, and they help me out every month with food. Most of the people who walk in the front door of the Seton Center know hunger. And so I looked in her refrigerator and I just, tears just started bubbling up. She had actually no food. Once the staff and volunteers get to know them, understand their needs, their world begins to change. And we have to brush the front, but then we have to brush the backs of our teeth too, don't we? we Seton Center is one of the largest safety net dental providers in the region. Other side, same thing, okay? Serving children and adults who have little or no way to pay for life-changing care. Care that not only improves their health, but opens doors to jobs and other opportunities. I'm part of the so-called middle class that never thought I would need help. It's really something how one tooth can change your whole appearance. I, I always spoke like this with my hand over my face or my head down. I mean, you'd never ever see me with my head up, ever, because I was so humiliated. They didn't make me feel like a charity case, and it was very hard for me to admit that I needed help, but I needed help. It's going to change my whole world. Like I said, I'm going to smile more often, you know, and laugh real big. I started crying because I was like, that's really me. That's really me, you know? That's really, really me. <laughs> the center's utility assistance program helps keep people in their homes with light and heat. Give your tongue a little more space. They help seniors stay connected to other people and the services they need. For years, they did all this out of a cramped former grade school where hallways were packed with clothes and supplies. But thanks to generous donors and a capital campaign, Seton Center has a whole new look. We now have an extra 9,000 feet. The entire building has been renovated on the inside, so it now is established in a way that it is practical and efficient. We have extra space, uh, which we never dreamed we would have, and we're looking at new programs to have for our neighbors something that we know for sure is going to be an anchor for the neighborhood. It gives you a sense of belonging to, you know, it's not just, it's not just a Catholic building and not just run by the Sister Catholic, but it's a neighborhood, it's, it's the environment, it's the environment, I put it like that. The Daughters of Charity and the Ladies of Charity of Metropolitan Kansas City came together and established Seton Center 44 years ago. The Daughters of Charity have a foundation which generously helps us with our operations. The Ladies of Charity take care of the thrift store and sorting all the clothes and often bring clothes for us to use. In addition, dozens of people from churches and organizations throughout the metro volunteer in the food pantry and with other programs. For those receiving these services, the need is huge and growing. Because uh, my hours been cut down, I just work part time now. And my grandkids are staying with me now. So it's really been a blessing. Para el turkey, comida, ropa, juguetes para las niñas. They have been so wonderful to me. Seton Center is filling a gap in the lives of people who seem to have so little. You know, when you take uh, food out to the people and you ask them, how are you doing? And they say, I'm God blessed. Puts it into perspective. Without them, hey, I won't be able to eat. I'd be holding a sign. 
I work for food, I guess. Helps me out a whole, whole lot. And hey, I'm happy and I'm blessed.